Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are in the F-15C and we're going to be taking a look at the AIM-120 AMRAAM, which is, without doubt, the most potent missile in the F-15's arsenal. Specifically, we're going to be looking at today what the AIM-120 can do versus the older AIM-7. So, but without further ado, let's go hop into the cockpit and get this started. So first, let's take a look at the controls we're going to need. So we've got Beyond Visual Range Mode for the radar. We will need radar on and off, of course, which is the IT by default. We will also need our target designator move controls, up, down, left, and right. We'll also need target lock, of course. We'll need weapon change. and weapon release. And we'll also need TWS, RWS mode select. All right, so let's go ahead and hop in the cockpit and get started. All right, so the first thing I want to cover is that we have two versions of the F or of the AIM-120 AMRAAM in DCS world. So the first version is the AIM-120 Bravo, it's the earlier version, and it has a range, I believe, of about 20 to 30 miles maximum. And then we have the A120 Charlie with a much longer range out to almost 60 miles. The A120 Charlie also has an improved seeker and clipped control surfaces, and that was done to make it fit better inside aircraft like the F-22 Raptor, which carry their missiles internally. So, first thing we're going to do here, we have four Tu-95 Bear bombers out in front of us, and we're going to shoot them down in TWS mode if possible, which means that we're going to be using mode of the radar, which allows us to fire multiple missiles on multiple targets at once. One of the advantages of this is that the target that you're shooting at, or targets, will not receive missile launch notifications until the radar in the missile itself has gone pitbull or gone active to search for the target, which will happen very close to the end of the missile's flight time, unless you fail to support it with your own radar. So we'll go ahead and push the range out to a about 40 miles, and you can see we've just got those targets coming in to view. Go ahead and change to TWS mode. And up there you can see now we've got our targets up there. We're just going to use target lock to lock the first one, and the second one. Let's see if we can get a third one got to be careful here because all right so we've got three of them we're gonna go into beyond visual range mode which is what I really should have done first change back to TWS lock one two have to do this over again. Alright, we'll go with two. So we'll go ahead and turn into our targets. Fox three. Fox three. And you can see how that changed. That target box changed from one target to the next. And that's because we're shooting at multiple targets. Thank you. 
Fox 3 again. Just to make sure. We'll Fox 3 one more time. And then we'll change the A120 Bravos. We were using the A120 Charlies. And at this point, we should be getting some hits here pretty shortly. And there's one. Alright, so we got two of them. So while we're here, we'll just go ahead and switch to vertical scan mode and go after the other two. Whoops. I'm not sure what it's doing here. Alright, there we go. Got another one locked. Fox 3. I'm gonna turn here a bit. Oh, splash. See if I can pick up on the other one. I suspect the other one went the other way. They all tried to break up to evade these. And our vertical scan mode caught him. Fox 3. And splash. All right. So that is how to use the AIM-120 AMRAM in the F-15C in TWS and in vertical scan combat modes. And it looks like we've actually got one more here. Looks like we didn't quite finish them all off. Fox 3 again. Did we splash him? Apparently. I don't see a splash though. Kind of odd. Wait a minute. What is this? Alright, we got all four of them. Alright, so thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content, and I will see you in the next one.